gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road Cause I, 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 I Wanna try Do the summer night And when we We can go Alright, we have done something a little different today We are going off of the resort to the boardwalk in Puerto Vallarta where there is a lot of shopping and just um, go see the sights in downtown Puerto Vallarta. So we are out on what they call the boardwalk of Puerto Vallarta and it's a nice little walking street here with lots of shops along the way and here's the fam out ready to explore excited about this yeah good yeah it's, it's hot down here for sure but it's really pretty it's kind of like a public beach area down there these guys are about to do something crazy i'm not sure exactly what some sort of rope repelling art art artistic uh dance something or other <laughs> you wouldn't be able to do that buddy I'm not sure what's going on here I think we're about to find out. I hope they trust those uh, ropes they just tied around themselves. Like this is a good swimming hole for the locals here. Uh, all the kids are swimming in this runoff that goes to the ocean. I bet it's nice and cool. People are just trying to do whatever they can to stay cool because it is a hot day. That was incredible. We just walked in and they were doing a mass. So we just walked in the back and then left, but it's a, it's a really beautiful old church. And the bells started ringing too. So now we're just walking down one of the side streets, but a little bit off of the real touristy area. The streets are really small here. <laughs> All right, we stopped from walking around the streets in Puerto Vallarta. It is super hot out there. Um, I think we are just spoiled in Colorado where it doesn't get so hot and humid. But we've seen a lot of great sights. I loved stopping by the church that we stopped by. The architecture was absolutely beautiful. But we are inside a Starbucks right now enjoying the air conditioning and getting a few beverages just to kind of sit down and cool off for a moment. I think everybody's just kind of hot and worn out a little bit. But we took a day, a break from the beach. Huh. Yep. What are you drinking? Water. <laughs> it is hot up there. <laughs> but I was telling Jill, I don't remember it being this hot in Orlando when we went to Disney. It probably was. It's just been a while since so I've walked around outside. And that's your drink. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've walked around outside of this kind of heat. Yeah. I just like sweat is literally falling off of my forehead. And guys, yeah, my drink's ready. So let's walk over and get my drink really quick. I think this one's mine. Yep, that's it. We got it. Thank you. I just got a strawberry refresher. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. It is hot outside, You're but I'm. <laughs> I, I think my favorite part so far is seeing that church that I've the art inside the church and the architecture is beautiful. So it's very old to that church. It's like a monument in Puerto Vallarta. Yep, they said it's the symbol of the city. If you guys are wondering if this is actually the first time 
uh, the kids have been in Mexico. It is not. They've actually been in Cozumel, Cozumel uh, Mexico, uh, when we were on the Disney cruise. And we will link that video up down below. So it's not their first time being outside the U.S. They have traveled just only it was on a cruise ship. I think this is a little bit different than the last time because they were only in Mexico for, I think, a total of five hours when we stopped in Cozumel. It's fun to see the different architecture down here. Like this building that has a bunch of little condos or apartments with the plants on their balconies. And you see the local shops here selling refreshments and whatnot. And then just down the alley, there's a bunch of little shops for the tourists. Really cool area that we walked into here. here and tons of tourists. Nope, locals. <laughs> this is where all the locals are hanging out apparently. So very crowded beaches but it's pretty cool. There's actually a few people jumping off of this <laughs> They're trying to cool off. It is hot out but that breeze is nice. Yeah it is. They have mango on a stick, just what Jill needs right now. No, <laughs> she's allergic. <laughs> All right, everybody's. My family is not liking me right now because <laughs> I kept walking and walking, and now we're in the middle of town. And Lincoln's asking if we're walking back to our resort, which is like five miles away. No, we're not. But we're in the middle of nowhere, so that's for sure. You made it back. We went on quite a little walking safari there, but we are home. <laughs> Good to get off the resort and experience the real Mexico. And I just love going out and doing that, but it was really hot and I wore the wrong shoes for it, for sure. The kids found this on the beach while they were playing. Jill's fascinated with this hermit crab. You're so cute. Until it until it clamped down on her. <laughs> yep, she got pinched. Was it that bad, Mom? No, it wasn't. It just scared you? Yeah. It's okay, buddy. All right, we should probably put him back, don't you think? He's so cute. Yeah, he'd probably be happier. <laughs> Maybe put him down on the beach. That's where they really like to be. So Kenya buried Lincoln in the sand. And he's gonna he's not gonna last very long. He wants to get up soon, but I've gotta get a picture of it. There he is. There he is. Hi Lincoln. With something on his eyes, covering his eyes. <laughs> Beautiful day out. Such a gorgeous day. What a great view. It's very warm out, but and there's Jill. She's going to meet up with one of the vendors on the beach who's selling some things to see what we can buy. So I buried Lincoln in sand. <laughs> that was miserable. I'm not doing that. Rinse off, buddy. Rinse off, Sandman. I think I just I think I just found our next vacation. Okay. That's going by. What do you think? Yeah, that's doable. We could do that. Maybe we should just buy one. Okay. <laughs> that is a really it's nice yacht. Kind of hard yacht. when you live in a landlocked state. Yeah, I don't know if there's a lot of places in Colorado to put that. <laughs> Beautiful though.
nightly routine, walking to dinner <laughs> at a different restaurant every night. Everybody all dressed up, looking good. You <laughs> there? We are at a beautiful Italian restaurant tonight and our view is absolutely stunning. That's the sunset view right we have right there out the window. And the sun is about to pop right below those clouds and probably give us a show. And they're bringing some cheese to us and scraping it right out of the wheel. Yeah. It's amazing. And for appetizers, there's a caprese salad. And Lincoln asked if there is a twig in his salad. It's like a breadstick. Try it. What do you think? It's like wood. <laughs> Maybe it was a stick. <laughs> it's our last day here. It has been an amazing day. We have been on the beach. We've enjoyed the pool. The kids got a cabana. We got a cabana. And we've just been relaxing, enjoying the time here. So we are at the end of our day. I think the kids are going down to the beach one last time. And Luke is just sitting here chilling with me. All right, has it been a good trip? It has been amazing. I have loved every minute of it. Good. So relaxing. I think I took like a three hour nap in the cabana today. I didn't even know what time it was when I woke up. When I, when I woke up, I can't even talk. So yeah, it's been really, really nice. Um, I would definitely come back to this resort. Um, the only thing I wasn't super impressed with was the food. It wasn't bad, it just wasn't like, it was more like three star food, I would say, maybe four star food and, um, um, you know, just not as gourmet as the last place that Jill and I stayed at, but still very good, very good overall. And the service was unbelievable. We got to know our wait staff, especially out here on the cabanas. We had the same guy serving us every day. He took really good care of us. I mean, he was here every 15 minutes. What can I get you? What can I get you? Let me grab your drink, you know, anything. So food, oh, just, you can't beat it. But the poor kids, I don't know how they're gonna adjust back to the life <laughs> that they live back home where no one is waiting on them hand and foot with the next plate of fries or a Coke to drink or something like that, so. But it's good to spoil, uh, spoil them a little bit and enjoy and rest and we just haven't done this as a family for a long time so i'm so glad we did it uh it was a really good decision kenya and lincoln are out there playing in the water trying to get the last minutes of fun in for the last day here and the nice thing too is i feel like because we're up here on this boardwalk we have like a, a high vantage point to be able to really see them easily and you can call them and they can hear from there really easily because they're not too far away the workers are out cleaning up all the tables and umbrellas and getting ready for the big show and dinner that they're going to do on the beach over there tonight. And that's where we're going to go eat tonight. Well, we were going to go eat out at the outside thing tonight. They had a big thing set up and I feel terrible for them because they set that whole thing up and now it is totally downpouring out there. Guess we need to go out to a different restaurant. Ooh, a little lightning. <laughs> All right, kiddos. Last morning of vacation. Thoughts, reviews, what do you think? Uh, I love Mexico, I'm excited to be going, but I'm also excited to go back home, see everybody, see Maui. What about Reagan? And Reagan. Everybody, Reagan, yeah. Reagan and Maui, our dogs, and then our chickens and turkeys and ducks and an assortment of animals. And to get back to work? I'm excited for work. Again, I'm gonna miss my Mexico so much, but we'll be back next year, I'm sure. Um, Next year, maybe. Next year or the year after, something like that. I'm looking forward to seeing Maui, Reagan, and our friends. Yeah. yeah. And we got another exciting trip planned right after this. Yeah, we do. Pretty big surprise. Big surprise, I'm for it. It involves a lot of people. Like 12 people. I can guess. <laughs> That's a really big hint, y'all. Uh, 13 people. Oh, 13 people. Yeah, I, got, I counted wrong. <laughs> All right. Bye Mexico. Bye Mexico. Well, we are on the airplane, getting ready to head back to Denver. We are going through Houston on the way home. Took a little bit of a layover in Houston on this trip, but uh, should be some nice flights. Have some good seats and we're ready to go. Kenya is already well into her iPad game. 
<laughs> That's how she passes the time. Kids are great travelers. They should be by now. Mm -hmm.